Hey YouTube people, this is Jesse, also known as Crave Collector 01, here today for another special review. Today we'll be looking at Transformers Universe Perceptor. This is the Generation 1 Perceptor Toys R Us reissue. Quick look at the box. Here's the little um, bio. You can pause the video to see that if you want. But, uh, really nice figure quick 360 of the box and you may or may not know that this guy in the original series was voiced by Paul Iding which I had the personal pleasure of getting to meet on August 8th I attended a Facebook event where we all watched the original 86 Transformers movie together and Paul Iding come in and talk to all of us and really great guy really really fun to talk to um but look him up. The guy's been in, he's been in everything. Everything from the 1980s up. But, um, really nice guy. Really fun to talk to. So, uh, if you're watching this, Paul, I'll, uh, I dedicate this review to you. So, let's take a second and get this guy out of the package and take a look at the toy. Okay, so here's a look at Perceptor in his microscope mode. He's a pretty cool looking little microscope. And if you can get enough light, this you can turn this and it'll zoom in and zoom out. If you can get enough light working and lay something in right here, it will actually work as a semi-functioning microscope. But overall, it's pretty nice. And he does have a uh, sort of a third mode, a tank mode. And if you, All you have to do to get him in that mode is just rotate these around. Till the tank treads show in the front. Fold it up against the arm. Do the same on this side. Turn it like that. Fold these straight down. And the microscope part, fold it back. And then on the legs, they have right underneath the feet, there's these little wheels that you can extend. Pull them straight down and do the same on this side. Okay. And you can take these um, silver dials off of the arms. I like to keep them on my figure because I'm afraid that it'll they won't hold in very well. But really, you're, I think you're supposed to take them out to make the tank mode. And there you have a uh, perceptor in tank mode. It's not bad. Looks pretty nice. The tank will turn. So, let's get this guy into his robot mode. All you have to do is fold the legs down, put that in the front, push these wheels up, flip the toe up, do the same on this side. Down. Then you just want to extend the arms, turn them down, flip these little black panels down. Then on the hands, you just want to, there's a little tab right there on the side of the hand you can extend those hands out with. Let's see it again on this side, extend those hands out. Pull his microscope back. Let's get this in the shot. It'll click into place and fold it over. Flip up the chest plate. Flip up the little reflector piece. Then there's a little set of gears right here on the back. And if you, woo, you can roll his head up. And there you have Generation One Perceptor in robot mode. All in all, a really nice toy, really nice representation of Perceptor in the original series. Let me put these back on his arms. Okay, he does come with a he does come with a couple guns, which we'll um, take a look at. He comes with this red kind of rifle. Go ahead and put that in one hand. 
and he comes with this with three red missiles and this gun here you just you see, put the missile in and put it in my hand now the American release of this toy the gun was not spring loaded but I believe the Japanese toy was so but really nice figure here's one last uh, look at Perceptor in robot mode and uh, don't forget guys visit crave.com for anything transformers and um, give Paul Iding a look up Paul Iding he's a really great guy um, so if he's watching this I dedicate my uh, review to you Paul and this has been Jesse Crave Collector 01 signing off